My name is Bob Irvine, inventor of the Clean Cut Concrete Saw and owner of Clean Cut Construction Products. I've owned and managed concrete cutting businesses in Queensland for over 30 years. For many years now, concrete cutters have been forced to operate with heavy, awkward equipment and required to make lifts well in excess of 100 kilograms. Current saws on the market also have dusting, slipping, vibration and clean-up issues. The Clean Cut team has designed a unique four-wheel drive system that eliminates slipping, reduces vibration significantly and has reduced the required lift weight for the operator from over 100 kilograms by at least 70% to within lifting index guidelines. We have also developed a slurry recycling and vacuum system that eliminates dusting and reduces clean-up costs. I would now like to introduce you to Grant Tracy from Better Safe. Grant will talk to you about the safety aspects of the clean cut saws. Turning a road saw requires a lifting force to be applied to the handles and then to walk the machine around. I was shocked to find that in other machines, the lifting force required was in excess of 100 kilograms. This resulted in injury risk, both acute injury risk and cumulative injury risk. Much less exertion was required to lift through the handles of the clean cut road saw and this resulted in no acute injury risk. The following three movies demonstrate typical concrete cutting jobs. The first movie shows the manual handling and slipping hazards that the operators have to deal with on a regular basis. These saws are extremely heavy when the blade is raised for turning purposes. Once the saw is lowered for cutting, there is no weight on the drive wheels, forcing the operator to stand on the back of the saw in a dangerous fashion to prevent these wheels from slipping in the slurry. This movie demonstrates the airborne exposure risks for the operators and bystanders. It is unfortunately standard practice in the concrete cutting industry to turn the water feed to the blade down to reduce clean-up costs. This is a particular problem with council jobs, where heavy fines are imposed if slurry goes down drains. Concrete contains 30% silica that causes extreme airborne exposure risks. This movie shows the slurry recycling and vacuum system in operation. This reduces the required water feed from a recommended 10 litres a minute for existing saws to below 3 litres per minute. The lifting weight of the clean cut saw is within work safe lifting guidelines. Note the handles remain at a comfortable height at all times. Due to the slurry recycling system, there is minimal slurry exudate and no dusting. In conclusion, concrete saws have evolved over the last 80 years from heavy, impractical ride-on machines to the technology available today. The current machines are extremely heavy to lift and manoeuvre. Clean cut saw is a generational change in this industry. Production and sale of the clean cut saws, both in Australia and overseas, will provide employment and revenue for Queensland.